Well, there it is done. The previous video was me flattening it out with a router. I think it came out pretty nice. This is after about six coats of polyurethane. The green in this piece is amazing. I just love this table. I maintained the bark on the live edge due in part that this slab was cut during the winter therefore holding its bark a lot better. What I did with this is I took a small chip brush and an acid brush and uh, brushed in the polyurethane a number of coats into the bark itself and that should seal it a little bit better. Let's see if I can get a better angle of the bark and how it came out. There you can see it a little bit better. What I did for the legs is I found an old school desk from probably the 1940s and though they're on a bevel um, I had to adjust them and then weld them into place and then grind them flush. The center brace or the stringer is a piece of copper that I heated with a torch to give it kind of a patina and the knobs on the end are just simply drawer pulls which were uh, tapped into the ends of the stringer. I think overall it came out pretty good. As I've mentioned before I used to wonder why live edge tables were so expensive and uh, now I clearly understand why. Uh, they are a labor of love and they're very time consuming but um, I think the end results are definitely worth the effort. Here's the bow tie that I laid in with walnut. I also did one on the bottom just to make sure that crack didn't go any further. It really isn't very difficult to do this type of job or this type of table. It's just very time consuming. I have a number of hours of sanding on this piece. But I think in the end it came out pretty nice. On to the next one.